Hi guys, welcome in FSG new trading ready pace YouTube channel. So in this video, we will do gold weekly deep analysis. So first of all, in a monthly time frame, you can see price is going upward with a bullish momentum. Prices make a low, higher low, higher low, higher low, and prices finally break a support level. Sorry, a resistance level. So this is a support level right now, and this a retest is still pending in a monthly time frame so there is a very high prob probability that if we see any bearish evidence in a monthly time frame or in a weekly time frame then prices can go downward and touch a 2200 level 2300 level and then go upward okay right now you can see in a monthly time frame prices go upward and if this monthly candle close right here if this monthly candle close close right here at a 70 level at 80 level without any upper wick then there is very high probability that we may see a little bit deeper retracement and prices can touch a monthly candle low or maybe prices can cross a previous monthly candle low and try to attract a more sellers and then go upward it's mean next month maybe we will see a bearish candle and prices can touch a 2500 level okay but it's not mean that whenever candle close without any upper week so you can go for a sell it's not like that we we will still need a selling candlestick pattern in a daily time frame or in a weekly time frame or in a h4 time frame then we will looking for a sell for a 2500 level Now in weekly time frame you can see prices go upward with a bullish momentum same structure prices go upward with a low higher low higher low and this one is our three white soldiers candlestick pattern in a weekly time frame our current weekly candle close above from a previous weekly candle high so this one is a three white soldiers candlestick pattern if any weekly candle cross and close above from a previous weekly candle high then you can go for a buy otherwise if you already in a buy then stay in a buy if any weekly candle cross a previous weekly candle high then you can also go for an impulsive buy if you are not in a buy in a weekly time frame and you are looking for a new buy with a small stop loss otherwise after see this pattern even though this pattern is not confirmed this pattern is only confirmed when any weekly candle cross above from a previous weekly candle high and then you can go for a buy okay so whenever we see a uh, this setup whenever we see this pattern we draw a fibo we draw a fibo and in case if prices go downward we will try to enter a buy at a 61 level or at a 50 level so 50 level price is 2590 level at a 25 level at a 2590 level if you see any bullish evidence in a daily time frame or in a h4 time frame after confirmation of our divide soldiers then you can go for a buy at a lower prices and first target is first target is even if prices never ever go downward and close above from a previous weekly candle high and active are the white soldier candlestick pattern then our first target is according to this pattern according to fibo is 161 level and the price is 28 10 2810 level okay it's mean from a current prices prices can go upward almost 1500 pips from a current prices and this one is our first target only second target is 261 and 261 level is directly 3000 but it's not mean that price will go upward directly price will go upward with a retracement and it take time it take time it's mean if any weekly candle close above from a previous weekly candle high then you can go for a buy and your stop loss is almost 2000 pips and your take profit level is Three thousand pips. 
ठीक है फॉर आर लॉन्ग टर्म ओनली नाउ लेट्स एनालाइज आ मार्केट इन आ डेली टाइम फ्रेम इन आ डेली टाइम फ्रेम यू कैन सी प्राइस इज गोइंग अपवर्ड विद बुलिश मोमेंटम इन आ डेली टाइम फ्रेम यू कैन सी प्राइस इज क्रॉस अ डोजी कैंडल हाई एंड क्लोज अब एंड देन अगेन प्राइस इज गो डाउनवर्ड एंड वी सी अ बेरिश कैंडल इन आ डेली टाइम फ्रेम दिस वन इज अ हैंगिंग मैन कैंडल स्टिक पैटर्न इन अ डेली टाइम फ्रेम तो वेन एवर मार्केट ओपन यू कैन गो फॉर अ सेल एंड योर स्टॉप लॉस इज अब फ्रॉम अ हैंगिंग मैन कैंडल स्टिक पैटर्न इन अ डेली टाइम फ्रेम इफ यू लुकिंग फॉर अ सेल देन ओके बट इफ यू डोंट फील कंफर्टेबल इन अ सेल डायरेक्शन बिकॉज ट्रेंड इज अ स्ट्रॉगली बुलिश तो सेल इज वेरी वेरी रिस्की इवन अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस पैटर्न अवर टारगेट इज अवर टारगेट इज ऑलमोस्ट फाइव हंड्रेड पिप्स और सेवन हंड्रेड पिप्स अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस पैटर्न इन अ डेली टाइम फ्रेम बट स्टिल we already know this thing that prices show us a selling patterns just to attract us sellers and then prices is going upward and we experience same thing in our live stream multiple time and i will show you our live examples uh in our previous streams okay let me try to show you first of all we will analyze a daily time frame so now you can see whenever market open and you looking for a sell and you think that this one is a all time high you can go for a sell with a 200 pips stop loss your stop loss is above from a your stop loss is above from a hanging man candlestick pattern high and your first take profit level is low for hanging man candlestick pattern which is a 150 pips and second take profit level is second take profit level is 2600 level it's mean overall overall if you enter a sell with a 200 pips stop loss your take profit level is almost 600 pips your take profit level is 600 pips okay take profit level is 2600 level now in case in case you can clearly see here this daily candle go downward give us a lower wick even this one is a hanging man candlestick pattern you can go, you can go for a sell but if you looking for a buy you can clearly see this candle go downward grab a nifty and then close above from a previous daily candle low it's mean price is already hit a sell stop orders and then it will go upward So it's mean if you're looking for a new buy, if you're looking for a new buy, then just wait for a wait for a current current daily candle cross above from a previous daily candle high. Then you can go for a buy. Otherwise, if you can afford a stop loss below from a this candle low hanging man candlestick pattern low, then you can also go for a buy. Like your stop loss is. 200 pips and your take profit level is first take profit level is uh 101 75 level and second you can add another buy if a uh, next daily candle cross a previous daily candle high then you can add another buy or you can add a impulsive buy and take profit level is 20 2700 uh, level or 2750 level okay but this setup is little bit risky this setup is little bit risky in a daily time frame so my preference is sell only my preference is sell only in a daily time frame but you can also go for a impulsive buy you can also go for a impulsive buy now let me try to show you h4 setup in a h4 time frame you can see prices is going upward with a bullish momentum and prices Uh, recently cross and close below from our 
50 support level. If you remember uh, in a previous week's stream, okay, or in a previous weekly analysis, we find this uptrust bar or a shooting shooting star candlestick pattern. Okay, so this shooting star candlestick pattern right now activate prices close below from this shooting star candlestick pattern low and prices close below from uptrust bar candle low so there is very high probability that prices can go downward and right now you can see after close below prices is going upward so if you're looking for a sell if you're looking for a sell we will treat this upward move as a retracement of a bearish move so you can go for a sell at a current prices in a H4 time frame and your stop loss is above from all time high like your stop loss is 300 pips but it's little bit risky why because prices already close above from a support level if prices stay below from a 50 level if any H4 candle or daily candle close below from below from a 50 level then we will treat this upward move as a retracement of a shooting star candlestick pattern or uptrust bar. And then we will be looking for a sell. But now you can clearly see H4 candle is again close above from a 50 level, 60 level. So now we are looking for a buy in a H4 time frame. But right now in a H4 time frame, our buy is not confirmed. Buy is only confirmed if our next H4 candle if our next H4 candle cross and close above from a previous H4 candle high, then we then we will enter a buy. Then this one is our new higher low. Right now there is no higher low in a H4 time frame. This is our previous higher low. This is our previous higher low. So it's mean if you're looking for a buy, you can also enter a buy trade right now if you can afford a stop loss below from this previous higher low. But this one is a little bit higher stop loss. It's almost 400 pips, 500 pips stop loss. So my recommendation is wait for a uh, another H4 candle close above from a previous H4 candle high, then you can go for a buy. And then your stop loss is below from this swing low, this swing higher low, and the price is 40 level, 45 level. Okay. Now you can see in H4 time frame. This one is our bearish candle, bearish engulfing candle, bearish Marubozu candle and prices break and close below from this support level. Okay, so there is very high probability that prices can go downward only if any H4 candle close below from this bearish candle low. This bearish engulfing candle, this bearish Marubozu candle is right now not confirmed. It's not active. It's a selling evidence but it's not active. Okay. If you're looking for a sell, if you're looking for a sell, sell is only if any H4 candle is close below from a 40 level, then you can go for a sell. Okay. Now in H1 time frame, first of all, let me explain in a previous live stream, in a previous live stream, I explain a same setup that prices will definitely break a 50 level, 55 level, stay below and close above and daily candle close above from a 60 level. And you can clearly see a same setup. Now in H1 time frame, after close below from this support level, prices finally attract a new seller. And multiple times, you can see multiple times prices cross uh, this breakout candle low. This thing gain a confidence of a seller that right now this one is a real breakout. And they add more sell multiple times. And then you can see prices is going upward and close above from close above from support level again, close above from a resistance level again and close above from a 50 level. Right now price is at a 60 level. Okay. 
So never ever ignore this information. I explain this information in our, in our live streams and we trade live. Okay. And I also show you a previous live examples. So now in H1 time frame, in H1 time frame, you can clearly see here in this area, prices attract a new sellers, prices grab a liquidity from a new sell stop orders and close above. Multiple times prices give an opportunity to these sellers to make a profit. But these sellers think that this one is the all time high and prices will go downward and touch a 2600 level. And now you can see these sellers in a loss. These sellers in a loss. Now in H1 time frame, in a H1 time frame, you can see this one is our new higher low. In a H1 time frame, our higher low is confirmed. But in a H4 time frame, our higher low is not confirmed. It's mean whenever market open, you can go for a buy. If you already in a buy, then stay in a buy. Like I already explained this setup in our live stream that if prices go upward and cross a 50 level, so you can go for a buy. So right now you are in a 100 pips profit. Now in case if you are not in a buy, so whenever market open, go for a buy and your stop loss is below from this swing low, swing new, higher low. So it's mean whenever market open, you go for a buy and your stop loss is 150 pips. Your stop loss is 150 pips and hold this buy trade hold this buy trade for a 2700 level for a 2750 level for a 2800 level because if i apply a volume on a chart you can see price is going downward with the increasing volume so after see this increasing volume more sellers enter a sell trade more sellers enter a sell trade and prices already grab a sell stop orders which is available below from a 50 level 50 level 45 level Okay, so now, now there is very less probability that again prices can go downward and again cross a 40 level. So stay in a buy direction, stay in a buy direction, stay in a buy direction in case, in case if prices go downward, in case if prices go downward, but never ever cross and close below from this support level close below from this a recent higher low 40 level then you can go for a buy after see a bullish evidence in a h1 time frame or in m15 time frame okay if you're looking for a new trade with a small stop loss then just wait for a little bit of retracement then you can go for a buy even though 100 pips or 150 pips stop loss it's not a it's not a Big stop loss according to a uh, gold volatility. So you can also go for a buy in a H1 time frame. But in case if you're looking for a buy with a 50 pip stop loss, then just wait for a little bit of retracement. Then you can go for a buy. Okay. So this one is our H1 setup. Now let me try to show you court report so this one is our court report and you can clearly see here new buyers added in a market and new sellers added in a market okay after see this bearish structure new sellers also enter in a market Okay, but right now you can see 84%, 85% longs added in a market and only 15% short added in a market. So, after see this information that short is also increasing and long is also increasing and open interest is also increasing, it means there is very high probability that let me try to show you setup. There is very high probability that next week we may see a
set up like this. Range. Okay. And then we will see a proper breakout. After see this range. After see this range. And if prices stay above from a 60 level, 70 level. After see this range. These big players who enter a sell trade. Who add a sell trade. They will close a sell trade and then prices will go upward. Okay. So I am looking for this setup according to a court report. According to a court report. I already share a price action setup according to weekly time frame, according to daily time frame, according to H1 time frame. But according to a court report, you can see same buyers or almost same sellers added in the market. So it take time to go upward according to court report. Now let me try to show you a forex factory. Next week we have a fair chair pulse peak, ISM, jobs opening. Okay. And you can see ISM PMI less than 50, negative for a dollar, jobs opening. Less than previous, negative for a dollar. ADP, negative, unemployment. They show us, uh, uh, yeah, unemployment claim is also negative. SM services PMI. This one is a positive, more than 50%, more than 50. And then known for, or unemployment rate. So next week we have a uh, multiple high impact news is, but mostly they are looking for a uh, bad numbers. So it's mean in case if any news time, if any news time prices go downward, if any news time, they show us a positive data, unexpected positive data. This thing attract our new sellers. And when prices go downward, try to enter a buy at a lower prices. Otherwise stay in a buy direction. Okay, and if you're looking for a risk free trade, risk free trade is up only after news. Okay, so this one is our proper deep analysis for our next week. So, thanks all for watching this video. Goodbye.